In this video, we will take a look at what will be required if you have a winder stairway like this that might not meet current building codes and you might even be having a problem with using. And when I say using, you might have tripped a few times on it and would like to fix it. Now, before you think about fixing it, this video will definitely provide you with something to think about. So let's go ahead and take a look at the winder steps dying into one point here along with a three foot wide stairway and 10 inch treads and i have built plenty of stairs like this before they changed the building codes and i'm not going to go over all the reasons why these stairs are unsafe however i can tell you that the newer building codes require a six inch minimum measurement at the smallest section of the stair treads that would be this area right here and in order to make this work, we're going to have to go 10 and 3 eighths of an inch larger in this direction here and in this direction here. So we're going to be able to work with our original three foot wide measurement here. And if the width of your stairway is a little shorter or longer, then you might need to adjust this measurement here. And most of the time when we have a situation like this where we want to extend the stairway 10 and a half inches in this direction, we're going to have to move a wall. And that's probably the biggest reason why you're not going to want to do this type of stairway modification. Next up, let's go ahead and move the floor plan view to the other side of the stairway so you can get an idea of what we're working with here. And then let's go ahead and zoom out to give you an idea of how far you will need to extend it in this direction and in this direction here to create this section of the stairway. And then I will go ahead and move this section here over to here. We'll just kind of lay it on top of it or build it into it to give you an idea of the adjustments you will need to make to the landing. And something like this might not work for every stairway. However, it will work for a stairway that you're going to be installing a finished material on top of because you're going to be modifying the area underneath the finished materials like carpeting or wood flooring. So again, you can kind of see here where the old stairway is over here and over here and up here and what is going to need to be added to it to make it work. For example, you might need to add a section like this, section like this, and a section like this. And again, this area will need to be located underneath the finishing of the stairway. And even though this video wasn't meant to provide you with building instructions, I can always provide those for you. Let me know in the comment area if you need step-by-step -step instructions. And if I get enough viewers who are interested in it, then I will definitely make another video. And for those of you who do not, you just need a general idea or even a few reasons why you might or might not want to do something like this then this video will have done its job. So in reality, these would just be small sections that you would frame on top of each other to make it work out. And of course, these sections would need to be securely connected to the existing stairway. So again, let me know if you want me to put together a video on the framing of this, how to break it apart, move the walls or floors to make something like this work. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you learned something new today by watching this video.